more on the uh, long dresser that we started last night prepping. So we're going to be painting it. I'm going to show you what paint we're using, what we're doing with the top, what we're doing with the handles. Um, just a few things, mostly just basically painting. So if that's really Please. boring. That we are working on tonight. I'm just going to waltz you over here. Um, if you can see that, I will set up the camera so you get a really good view here. That's the dresser. So I, I've done a little bit to it today. Um, okay, so let's go over a few things. So yesterday I was talking about primer, bullseye primer, and this is Zinzer Bullseye 123 primer. Um, you can get this in paint-on, roll-on. It comes in a tin. It's a water-based one. There is an oil-based one, but I don't like that one at all. It may be good for some pieces, but it's really messy to work with. This one's really good. So in a case like this where... I'm going to move this a bit. In a case like this where there's really intricate details and it would be super hard to paint uh, white in there. And this ashwagandha is a little bit of a grayish white. I think the more it dries, the more gray it's going to be, though. I'm not sure. I haven't used it before. But what I've done is I've taken my one two three primer and I've sprayed all of these detailed bits. And then after it's dried, I just scuff sanded it to get any nibs off. I've also put um, dry decks in here on the doors so that it fills in that that pattern that was routed into the doors because I think that really dates the piece and it kind of makes it look 70-ish. So I wanted to get rid of that. So that's what's done to the doors there. Um, so in a little bit, this dry deck is pink when you put it on it turns white when it's dry. So in a little bit, I'll dry that uh, or sand that off. I've given this one coat of paint. I just mostly did it because I wanted to see what the actual color might be like and it, it'll be nice. We're going to do a pure black top and then we're going to do this color all over and then we'll do some black accenting. So I think that's going to look really neat when it's all done. And then I'm going to do black handles. So. This is the color the handles are currently. I don't know if you can see that. I'm way above the view here. So this is the color they are right now. They're kind of a brassy brown look. And that was really all through the 60s, 70s, 80s, 90s, I guess they were that color. Um, what I want to do, and I don't know if I can pick this up without getting it all over me. I've sprayed one. And this is the color they will be. This is a, um, it's called hammered metal. It's just got one coat, so you can still see the bronze underneath that I have to co cover over. And I will flip it over and do both sides of this, and I'll do two good coats on each side, and that should do it. But this is called hammered metal black, and what it does is it leaves it looking a little bit like, um, like it came ju just out of a foundry or a blacksmith. Um, it's not perfectly smooth like they were in the first place. It's got these little tiny dipples from the paint, and that's how the paint dries. That's why it's called hammered metal. And I absolutely love that stuff. It's beautiful. It's going to really look good um, when these are all spray painted. So I've got the spray paint, and that will be something I do off camera. But it's going to look really nice when we get those big handles back on. And like I said before, don't get rid of your handles or think... Um, that you always have to change your handles on these pieces because they're pretty expensive. Those ones I just showed you, if you went to buy them again, would probably be at least $25 or $30 from what I've seen in the stores. So a little out of breath here. Okay, so the primer is bin, uh, Zinzer Bin 123. And if I was going to do intricate parts like this, I always prime them. You can get it in black, brown, gray, any color you want to paint over. It doesn't matter. So this stuff is excellent. It will stick, says, for all surfaces, blocks, tough stains, smooth finish, seals odors, which is good. But it also says it sticks to anything. So um, last night I put gator hide on the, um, or not gator hide, I put, I'm talking about Dixie Bell now. 
I put uh, Ultra Grip on the top. I sanded it to get any grooves out, any nicks. Filled in with some wood filler to the corners. Remember I did, there's another corner over there. You can see where I've sanded down the, you sand it down and when it's painted over, you'll never know that ever was missing. That's a piece of missing laminate that we filled in with um, wood fill. And then, um, this is the paint. It's Fusion Mineral Paint, Goddess Ashwagandha. I tend to use Fusion Mineral Paint 99.9% .9 of the time. I do have other paints that I do use from time to time though. So um, I use a lot of their products, but I don't, I use other waxes. I use, you know, a few various different things. You can see this is still a little bit pink. So I know it's not quite, this is the second coat of fill. I put in fill, I sanded it, and then I noticed there's little tiny blurbs that weren't quite perfectly filled in. This splatter looks like splatter, but it's actually really smooth. And if you take the sanding block to it, like I took this old sanding block to it before, um, it just is perfectly smooth to paint over, so you don't have to worry about that at all. So, I think we're going to just start, I'm not going to touch this area yet. Um, I want to start by rolling some black up here. I want to get a good coat of black on and maybe get two coats in tonight. So this, this paint um, dries fairly well, uh, fairly fast, and it dries, probably you can do two coats within half an hour of each other. So generally, by the time I get one coat done and fiddle around a little bit, the first coat's dry and then I can go over top. So what I've done is I've just taken um, a very light, like a 400 sandpaper and just very lightly sanded the Ultra Grip because Ultra Grip can leave a little bit of a bumpiness. It's still, you can still feel the Ultra Grip and the paint will stick to that really, really well but it's not going to leave any um, blemishes on the surface now. So that is that. So what I've got now, I've already sanded this, and I'm gonna move you up here again a little bit. I wanted it to be um, a classic look. Um, where did I put my, oh. So I wanted it to be a really classic look, so that's why I went with kind of white and black look, because I think if somebody buys this, which this one will be up for sale, um, they're going to want something that's, you know, uh, kind of timeless. I, I find that people will buy these easily, but they want something that, you know, isn't going to go out of style in a day. Okay. Let's see have it oh yeah okay so again this is a six inch low nap microfiber roller I'm going to load my paint on here and I'm going to roll it out in the tray grab a little bit more paint and roll it out and I don't want it sopping wet but I want it just wet all over and then I'm going to go I'm at the wrong end I'm going to go first of all I'm going to go this way because I want to make sure this edge here is well done. Then I'm going to come this way. And you can go sideways, you can do the W thing, only to start. You can't leave it left. that way. You have to, you can lay your paint on any which way or any alphabet you want, but you have to take your paint off a certain way. If I need more paint. So I can do the W, it um, doesn't matter how you get your paint on, it just matters that you take it off properly because taking it off properly is the key. So I'm going to come up here, <clears throat> can you see that, and I'm going to go sideways again just to get this edge nice because I want to make sure it's all filled in properly. Okay, that's pretty nice. I'm going to put some more paint here because it's a little bit lacking. So right now I'm kind of doing a quick eyeball of the situation to see that I have the whole thing covered in paint. And then I'm going to go end to end, just like this, like that. Now I can 
could still hear my roller. It's rolling nicely and it has sort of a shh sound. If my roller was dry and the paint was not workable anymore, it would sound like Velcro. So that's something to keep in mind. If you start getting tacky with your paint, you have to stop right there and then, and you can always do a third coat. That's pretty sweet. What do you think, guys? Looking good, looking good, looking good. Um, so, yeah, there's a, a lot more paint. There's these sides that have to be painted out. Um, I have to do a little bit more sanding at the bottom there, too. And then when I get all of this painted and three coats on everything here, I will take these doors off. I'm not going to paint the insides. 